what if vaccines could be tailored, built uniquely for your body, to fight not just infections, but cancer itself? The future of personalized cancer vaccines is closer than you think. High throughput technologies and big data analytics are reshaping vaccine science. Using transcriptomics, proteomics, and metabolomics, researchers can map the immune system at cellular and molecular detail. Artificial intelligence now predicts antigen targets and optimizes vaccine design with astonishing precision. Immuno-oncology has already revolutionized cancer care. Immune checkpoint inhibitors, or ICIs, have improved survival in many patients by unleashing T-cells that attack tumors. Studying these responses revealed tumor-reactive T-cells powerful enough to reject cancers, rekindling hope for cancer vaccines. Key to this vision are dendritic cells, nature's ultimate adjuvant. They capture tumor antigens, carry them to lymph nodes, and train naive T-cells to recognize and kill cancer cells. Their role has fueled a renaissance in cancer vaccine research. This process is known as the cancer immunity cycle. Dendritic cells activate T-cells, which attack tumors, releasing more antigens, which feed back into the cycle, perpetuating a powerful immune assault on cancer. Dendritic cells exist in specialized subsets. CDC1 cells excel at cross-presenting tumor antigens to CD8 plus killer T cells, while CDC2 cells are more diverse, often priming CD4 plus helper T cells. Together, they orchestrate both cytotoxic and helper responses. CDC1 cells are rare but essential. Tumors often suppress or exclude them, and patients with higher CDC1 levels have significantly better survival. Their presence is a powerful predictor of treatment success. CDC2 cells are more heterogeneous. In some contexts, they support tumor immunity. In others, they resemble monocyte-derived cells with mixed functions. Under the right signals, they may even cross-present antigens like CDC1, opening new therapeutic possibilities. Intratumoral dendritic cells don't just prime new T cells, they sustain memory and effector T cell populations within the tumor itself. By producing interleukin-12, they enhance chemotherapy and immunotherapy responses. Specialized dendritic cells marked by CCR7 cluster near tumor blood vessels. There, they recruit T cells with CXCL16 and sustain them with interleukin 15. These dendritic cell niches create hotspots of anti tumor immunity. These niches often form DC, CD4, CD8 triads, three cell partnerships that restore exhausted T cells, reinvigorating them to fight. Harnessing these triads may hold the key to improving checkpoint inhibitor therapy. The most exciting frontier? Personalized cancer vaccines built from neoantigens, mutations unique to each patient's tumor. By sequencing both normal and tumor DNA, scientists can identify mutations, predict epitopes, and design custom vaccines. Early experiments in mice proved the concept, generating vaccines that shrank tumors. Clinical trials in melanoma patients followed, where vaccines expanded tumor-specific T cells, broadening immune responses beyond checkpoint therapy alone. mRNA vaccines have accelerated this progress. Clinical trials combining personalized mRNA vaccines with checkpoint inhibitors show promising signs of benefit, marking a new era where cancer vaccines may complement existing therapies. But challenges remain. Which dendritic cell populations are most critical? Must they be directly transfected by vaccine antigens? Do we need different strategies for priming versus intratumoral responses? Each answer will shape the next generation of cancer vaccines. Today, we stand at a turning point. With big data, AI, and advanced immunology, cancer vaccines are transforming from distant dream to clinical reality. Poised to deliver truly personalized medicine, the future of vaccines is not only about preventing infectious disease, but also about conquering cancer. One patient, one immune system, one personalized vaccine at a time.